Tracking the economy as we move into the colder months, boat enthusiasts are already looking ahead to the next season on the water, and South Florida is the place to be. More than 100,000 people and 1,300 boats head to Fort Lauderdale for the annual Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show. It's the first major boat show since Hurricane Ian slammed the Sunshine State, and we're getting a look at how this industry is set up to survive a possible economic slump. National Transportation Analyst Mike Cardell is in Florida watching all of these angles and is live with us this morning. And Mike, this is a big event with a lot of implications for the industry. Yeah, well, thanks for having me on, Mikhail. And let me tell you, it's great to be here in the sunshine. It's beautiful down here in Fort Lauderdale right now. Of course, living in Nashville, I'd rather be out on Percy Priest or Old Hickory, but I digress. It's gorgeous down here today. You know, we're only days away from the midterm elections, and everyone's talking about the economy. Down here in Fort Lauderdale, the yachting capital of the world, it's all about big numbers. They're actually reporting an annual impact for the marine industry in excess of $1.79 billion. And over the course of this five five-day show, you're going to see that go north of $800 million in transactions alone, and that is over the course of five days. Now, keeping with the theme of the economy, West Marine, it was a California-based company. They have relocated their headquarters here to Fort Lauderdale. Why? Because the economy is really strong in the marine industry right now, and especially down here in Fort Lauderdale. And speaking of West Marine, uh, let's talk a little bit about technology. This is called the Torquedo. It's over my shoulder right now, and as we think about electric electrification hitting the auto industry, we're also seeing it impact the marine industry. This is less than 30 pounds, easy. If you think about being out on Old Hickory Lake, you can attach this to a back of a inflatable. The best part is the U.S. Special Forces and military, they are using this because it's quiet and stealthy and they can interchange these battery packs. And I'll give you this one as well. If we're talking about electric, 109 miles per hour, that's the record setting number by a company called Vision Marine. And the beauty in this is if you look at and you see these are actual outboard looking motors but they're all electric cruising speed 45 to 55 miles per hour and they're going to integrate that technology into regular pedestrian personal watercraft here in the next year but i've saved the best for last i can see you me and maybe everyone else in the studio if we pull our salaries together this is the one that might be up for best to show. It's called the Hassine Ocean Z. It's 163 feet in length, four different decks. It has a cool beach party area in the rear. You're going to get hot tub up front. You're going to get multiple dining areas. It's just a beautiful layout. Price tag, you ready? $50 million, Mikkel. That's a lot happening down here at the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show. Back to you. Yes, let's pull all the salaries together, Mike. That looks awesome. Matter of fact, Neil Orrin, our morning anchor, is supposed to be getting us a boat, so I'm going to let him know to take a look at that one. All right? Thank you. <laughs>